Right now from the nation's capital, House Majority Whip, Republican Congressman Kevin McCarthy of California. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Hey, people are sitting at home and they're wondering, how close are we really to a government shutdown? Well, there's only a few days out. Uh, I mean, remember why we're here. Last year, when the Democrats were in the majority in the House and the Senate, they never produced the budget. After the election, That's they right. were still in power. They chose to only fund government to March 8th. So when Republicans took over, the first thing they did was pass a budget that funds government to the end of their fiscal year, September 30th. But the Senate never produced anything. Mm -hmm. So when we got to that deadline, we have given two extensions. Remember, after the first time we hit the deadline, the president got really engaged and he sent the vice president down here for one day. Then the vice president left for two weeks. Now <laughs> we're back to that <laughs> after doing it twice. Now right. the president's really engaged in the last days of uh, the idea. It, it would be more helpful. Right. If, the, if the Democrats actually produce something out of the Senate. See, now, uh, the president yesterday also said that both sides need to act like grown-ups. In your estimation, are both sides acting like grown-ups or not? Well, it's tough. You get Howard Dean out there that tell the Democrats to shut down because politically it's beneficial to them. You have um, Schumer, they're, they're one of their top Democrats in the Senate, on a phone with the, with the um, reporters calling Republicans extremes because that helps them politically. I mean, if we sat down and, I mean, I just go back to Schoolhouse Rock, I'm just a bill on Capitol Hill. Both sides produce a bill, sit in a room, ha um, have a communication and figure out where common ground is and send it to the president. But uh, sometimes politics right. get in the way and unfortunately on, on the Democrat Senate side, that's what they're doing. I know you're probably reluctant to talk about specifics, but there are some stories out there this morning that said both sides have had kind of agreed on 33 billion in additional cuts. But uh, Speaker Boehner may be closer to 40 billion and hence the $7 billion chasm. Well, let, let, let's be clear. Nobody on the Republican side agreed to 33. That's the Democrats started throwing a number out. If you produce the bill on the Senate side, you'd know where they agreed to. Right. Um, remember what we're talking about, discretionary spending. In the last three years, discretionary spending has gone up 83 percent. Now, no American household has had their income go up 83 percent. We should tighten our belt just like every household in America. Because imagine for one moment, imagine the hopes and dreams and everything we could achieve if we did not have this debt, borrowing 40 cents out of every dollar. What would, could we invest in and what could right. America look like? Sure. That's a, such a good point. And you would actually know something about the American dream because I'm going to go back in the Wayback Machine for a moment. When you, I, I think you were, weren't even 21 years old, you won the California lottery. Yeah, on the second day, I, on my first ticket, I was 19, I actually won the lottery. And you know, I could do one or two things. I right. could either become Charlie Sheen and throw a big party. Winning! Uh, but I, cho I chose to invest it in the market. And uh, after a while, I took that out and I decided to invest in the American dream and open my own small business. So uh, the challenge of government regulation, hopefully, luckily I was successful in the end of two years. I then had enough money to pay my way through college. And your business was, you were a deli guy, Kevin O's. I didn't put a lot of thought into the name, so I just named it after <laughs> myself. But you know exactly what goes into a small business, and that's why you're pushing for what you are right now. Um, yeah. Congressman. Seventy percent of all jobs are created through small business. That's what we need to grow, jobs, and that's what we promised we'll do. Absolutely. Uh, Congressman Kevin McCarthy, the majority House Whip. Sir, thank you very much. I know you've got a very busy day there on Capitol Hill. Thanks for having me. You bet.